town who love you, who would do anything for you, who want only the best for you. I will never forget that. And it's really very sweet. My newest son seems quite determined to keep an eye on me. I'm glad you have Dylan in your life. If you ever need anything from your old pal Jack, though, I am a phone call away. I won't forget it. You better not. <laughs> Thanks for the iced tea. But thank you for cheering me up. Anytime, babe. Uh, Anytime. It's me. I know it's late, but I have to see you. Thanks for making time to see me, Paul. I hope I'm not keeping you from something important. You and Christine have plans or something? Uh... Yeah, but there's still time. Time for... Uh, dinner. Dinner, and you sounded upset on the phone. Think really hard, Paul. Why would I be less than happy with you? With me? Yes, you. Nikki, I wouldn't upset you for the world, you know that. I always thought so, until you arrested my son. Nikki, I had no choice. Oh, come on, we always have choices. All right. Dylan broke into Ian Ward's hotel suite twice. The second time, he threatened him and even started to rough him up. That's when Ian Ward called the police. Don't you say that you're just playing right into his hands? The only thing that man has done since he'd come back to town is try to deliberately bait my son. I, I understand, I'm well aware of that. But Dylan has got to learn to control himself. Ian knows that he can't get to me anymore, so he is trying to manipulate my son. I see that you're upset. Yes, I'm, I'm upset. It. Well, this is not good for your health. Will you stop that? My MS is under control. It's everything else. This is not just about Dylan, is it? Who to drive you out of your own home? I just needed some time away just um, to think. You're not going to tell me, huh? Trust me, Paul, it's better this way. Well, what I do know, Nikki, is that things have been very strained between you and Victor ever since you brought Dylan into your lives. I feel like it's my fault. Your fault? Yeah, I was with you every step of the way searching for your son. And when Victor found out that you turned to me instead what of him... What is with the men in this town? And first, Jack was trying to take the blame for my moving out, and now here you are trying to do the exact same thing. When obviously the only person responsible for the problems in my marriage is my husband. And Paul, when it comes to my asking you to help me find my son, I have absolutely no regrets. Getting to know my son is one of my greatest joys. I hope he knows that. I think you just told him. That's uh, some endorsement, one of your greatest joys. Well, I meant every word of it. Now, what are you doing here at the police station? You haven't decided to charge him, have you? <clears throat> Not this time. Uh, no, this time I, I got a call after my arrest when they returned my stuff. My notebook wasn't in the envelope, and it's just something I've carried around since I was in combat. Oh, but it, is it like a diary? Uh, not exactly. More like a way of jotting things down I've seen and done. So I uh, never forget. Even kept a few souvenirs in there, thanks. Uh, are, are these your... Yeah, those are mine. My parents. Uh, Terry and Penny. Kept them close while the bolts were flying. Made me feel safe. That is so sweet. Dylan, if everything's in order, there, there is some place I have to be. Yes, yes, thank you, Paul. I won't keep you. Now, um, you stay out of Ian's way and out of jail, please. I'll do my best. See you. 